This is everything you need to know about caring for your string of hearts. This therapy jibble di, also known as the string of hearts, is a succulent. Now all succulents store water in their leaves and they want to let their roots sit dry. The most common problem and why succulents die for people is because they overwater it. So you want to make sure your string of hearts is completely dust dry before watering it again. If you're ever in doubt about watering, wait a couple more days before watering it. And then if you're in doubt again, wait a couple more. You can never really underwater a succulent, but you can always overwater it. The string of hearts is one of the easiest plants to look after. If it's ever looking a little bit sparse on the top, you can grab a chain of hearts and then wrap it round onto the top and it will re-root again. So here it's variegated, which means the leaves are just a slightly lighter colour than your normal string of hearts. The string of hearts with a very shadier location, but don't get that confused with the amount of light that it does actually need. Make sure to get the light on the top of the pot, but also on the hanging down bits. If your string of hearts isn't getting enough light, you'll be able to tell by how leggy the plant will get. If your string of heart is doing well and it's getting too long, you can always just trim off the excess bit and either pop them back in the top or in a different size pot. The compost we use for our succulents is half Dronanus number two and half grit. The grit helps with the drainage. Hopefully this has answered your questions on your string of hearts. Let me know in the comments if you've got any more.